Rich. At the Roselle Center for Healing, we care about your health and want to help you take your health in a new direction, far from drugs and surgery. Knowledge is the key to optimal wellness and control of your health. We offer free health education on chronic health conditions and natural integrative medicine treatments. Attend Stress, Your Health and Inflammation on Wednesday, December 14th at 7 p.m. Space is limited, so register today. Call 703-698-7117 or visit rosellecare.com. That's rosellecare.com. This is Dr. Tom Rosell. After 38 years of practice and almost a million patient visits, the Rosell Center for Healing knows what works and knows how you can take control of your health and wellness. My team of doctors practice 21st century integrative medicine. Whether you suffer from chronic pain and fatigue, allergies or headaches, we can help. Take charge of your health before it's too late. Make an appointment today. Call 703-698-7117 or visit online at rosellecare.com. That's rosellecare.com. The information provided on Dr. Tom Rosell Live by Dr. Tom Rosell DC, interview guests, show co-hosts, or substitute hosts is not intended or implied to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. It is for general information purposes only. Information from this broadcast should not replace the appropriate consultation and examination process by a licensed physician. Always consult your own physician prior to changing any current medical directive or prescription. Dr. Tom Rosell Live, right now on 105.9 FM and AM 630 WMAL. Welcome to Dr. Tom Rosell Live. This is Dr. Tom Rosell live in studio, waiting to take your phone calls on anything you want to know about your health. Perhaps you've tried, you've applied, you've done things that you thought would make a difference and you've turned out with the same old, same old, nothing that really works. Well, here's an opportunity. Let's see if we can take you through the weeds, so to speak, and put you in a path that is productive and something that actually will resolve the problem instead of you suppressing and playing with it. Call 888-630-9625. That's 888-630-9625. Love to talk to you. We actually have an interesting program today and one that we can say, tis the season, ho, ho, ho. Uh, It is one that is appropriate. It's uh, very apropos in its... Uh, topic. And what are we talking about? We're talking about stress, your health, and inflammatory reactions within the body, inflammation. What makes you sick? And we've talked about, you know, there are three stressors, if you will, injuries to your body, biochemical imbalances, and emotional stress. Well, think about this time of the year, right? We've got snow coming up. So, you you know, those of you who are hurting to begin with are going to hurt more because of, you know, trying to get out there and shovel and get the ice off and so forth. And, you know, God forbid there's, you know, there's uh, ice on the road and you're going to slip and slide and that tension that goes in your body. And then how about the biochemical pieces? You guys eat so much junk right now, so much garbage that go in your body from actually started about uh, Halloween and goes all the way through till probably the end of January. And you wonder why you get sick. And the third, you know, is that emotional component. And what's true about that, as we've said so many times, is that whatever you perceive and hold as being true actually will manifest in your body biochemically and structurally. The body doesn't know the difference between an actual experience and one you think about. But you know what? I'm not going to talk about this by myself today. In studio, my guest, your host this Wednesday evening, the 14th of December, on this very topic, Dr. Bryce Miller. Hey, Dr. Bryce. Good morning. How are we doing? I'm doing fantastic, my friend. But this is, you know, this is something that, you know, we embrace in our practice the triad of health, structural, chemical, emotional things as the triggering mechanisms for everything. And the topic that you're going to be talking about, which is, you know, stress and how it affects people's health and the inflammatory reactions, is so, so obvious at this point of the year. It's like, you know, Pay attention, people. We, you know, I want to get your your input on this, but let's let's break it down on this. Let's start with this. This tis the season, as I said earlier, and we're over the top in so many different aspects of stress. And some of us, you know, we we worry about the emotional piece because we don't have enough money. We think we have to do something. People are out there without any place to go, but everybody else is going. We have, you know, too much drinking, too much eating, too much, you know, of that kind of nonsense. And this time of the year, our pains, if you will, show up. Let's talk about the basic concept of what happens. You know, the the thing we're talking about is the manifestation of symptoms increasing and getting worse through this inflammatory reaction. Why is, why all these things happen all at one time and we get sicker this time of the year than any place else? 
Yeah, there's a lot of complicated pieces to the stress system. Um, the biggest thing I want to clarify, first of all, is when people think of stress, when I say stress, I don't want you to always assume I'm talking about emotional stress. That's the first thing people always think about. Well, stress means I had a hard day at work or I had a lot of traffic on the beltway. or That's not necessarily what we're talking about all the time. There's two other major components to the stress system. First one being the structural issues. So again, problems with your joints, muscle pain, muscle tension, injuries, like you said, from lifting snow, things like that can be a big stress on the body. And there's also the biochemical stresses. So when I'm talking, which should be your bad dietary factors, dehydration, very huge one. And this getting sick in general is a stress chemically to your system. So what we want to do is kind of break it down for you and go through these three systems and kind of identify what can be a culprit for your stress and what can you do to knock out these stressors so that your body has the least it has to deal with. The less it has to deal with, the better it'll be able to heal what's left that's going on that's not appropriate. You know, some of you and I both know and and uh, is always educating us on communication. So let, let's uh, talk about an uh, an analogy here. Uh, when we talk about stress in a building, all right, so you build a building and now the ground shifts. And that shifting means that the foundation now is no longer what it should be that originally supported the building. And so it has stress on the joint spaces, the window frames, the door jams, and so forth. And all of a sudden, the doors don't fit the way they're supposed to. The windows start cracking. And so forth. And we can fix all those things locally. You know, we kind of put a new door in. We fix the windows and we the break in the window. But until we fix the problem, meaning that foundation, again, the stressor, these things continue to happen. And what we see with patients is simply that they continue to fight the symptoms by taking medications and putting poultices and so forth, but they never look at the stressor, structural, chemical, emotional st uh, structure to begin with is what we're talking about. Let's talk a little bit more about that so people really get it, they understand it. Yeah, so people, the main thing that people start to respond to would be discomfort. That's when they start to say, well, now I'm in a bad place, I have pain, that means now something's wrong. Well, in reality, things have been wrong for a long time. And they're just sitting there quietly. Your body does a good job at hiding things. It's designed to not make you feel uncomfortable so that you can function in life. You have a cup, and it can once it gets full of these different stressors, chemical, emotional, and structural, and the overflow begins, then you see the breakdown and these pain patterns develop. But the big piece with the structural system is it starts to wind up on itself. We have this muscle tension reacting to a painful joint that causes decreased blood flow to that area, which causes in proper healing responses and more degeneration, which causes more pain, and it gets carried away. And the other piece is as well, the stress, thinking about the pain or the holidays or work, those chemicals released from that stress response make your structural system fall apart even more, and then you're stuck in the spiral and you're just trending downward and downward and you can't stop it. Normally, I don't take a call at this point of the program, but there's uh, an interesting question that has to do very indirectly and directly with what we're talking about. And I want to take this call and simply because there's, we, uh, we've noticed that a little, a little bit uh, difficulty holding on to the line. So I don't want to, uh, pass this one by. Sarah, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, go ahead. Let's, uh, let's talk a little bit. You're calling in about Potts Eller syndrome. Uh, what's going on? What's your question? Well, I have a dog. I can't hear you. Um, let me get to another. Can you hear me now? Sorry. You're, you're breaking up. It's like I can hear every other word. Okay. How about this? That's Is good. This? Th that works. Sorry. Um, so she's been diagnosed with POTS syndrome, okay. Ehlers downloads, and also fibromyalgia, a whole gamut of things, um, and possible mast cell. Um, so I just wondered if you had any advice uh, for she's dealing with chronic pain. She goes to yeah, the myofascial uh, pain therapy. is significant. I'm sorry? Yes. Yes, she's at the, she goes to physical therapy twice a week to try to relieve some of the pain and strengthen her arms. Okay, how old is she? She just turned 26. Okay, so let me give you a little insight. We, unfortunately, I see way too many cases over a period of, you know, 40 years of, of practice and, uh, POTS, uh, conditions, and pots Eller syndrome is the official condition. It's an adrenal problem that uh, produces a lot of different things from the pain that you're talking about, neuropathic pain, which is nerve pain, uh, dizziness, particularly postural hypotension. If you're bending over and you get up too quickly, uh, 
and you get dizzy and say, oh, my God, I haven't had a drink. The heart starts racing. You can't exercise because you hit that wall, but it's like real quick. Uh, fatigue, which can be, uh, can wipe people out. That's all fight-flight reaction. That's all adrenal. And it fits right into what we're talking about with stress patterns throughout the body that cause the system to break down over time. So when you look at a patient like this, you don't treat the symptoms. If you treat the symptoms, you're going to chase your tail. You have to look at the why, what's happening. You have to look at the structural chemical emotional platform, and particularly the adrenal system, the fight-flight system, you have to upregulate that. Normally, you see a patient that has... Uh, that presents with this thing is either repetitive injury over a period of time, uh, coupled with dietary uh, patterns that are not supportive. They, you know, and I'm just putting out a mantra. I'm not pointing a finger. Sugar, sodas, coffee, black teas, fast food, fried foods, alcohol, gluten, additives, preservatives, junk, the glutens, and so forth, sensitivities that they have. Um, the, you know, the emotional patterns, they live either in an emotional environment of stress or, you know, they're seeing things that they're interpreting and it's getting to them and so forth. But it's usually a combination of things. Ultimately, they get to the place where they they fall apart. And, you know, many of these things uh, present themselves in a way that the patient becomes disabled. Uh, the heart palpitations coming out of their chest, the nausea, the tightness in their chest. Sometimes they even pass out. Um, so what you have to look for is the why, and you treat that. We've treated POTS patients extremely successfully over a period of time, uh, but you have to get the patient to be willing to step up and be a partner in that because you have to change lifestyle, and you have to treat. You have to make sure that the structural system is balanced, that there's no injury patterns that are inherent. The energetic system has been maximized. A lot of these patients will show up having been exposed to heavy metals uh, that are toxic to the body, Uh, uh, not only mercury, but aluminum and arsenic. And in our environment, it's plentiful. We see uh, uh, young people that after they've had many inoculations or even sometimes just a few inoculations, so they've been on... um, you know, uh, different types of meds, uh, antibiotics and so forth, the intestinal tract starts to break down and we see this. But so the, the, uh, allopathic presentations, they put them on beta blockers and steroids and so forth. And it actually over time can make things worse. Uh, so you have to make sure that you find the why is that? What's going on? You don't over exercise them because they're just going to deplete their body even further. And you have to give them the support, but you have to look at them multidimensionally to fix it, but it can be modified. It can be fixed. There's a lot that can be done. Sarah, what I would suggest is this. Uh, you're out, you're out of Falls Church. Um, bring your daughter in and, uh, have her meet, uh, uh, Dr. Miller this uh, coming Wednesday night. And, you know, the presentation will be very applicable to the condition, but he can also take the time and speak with her, you know, afterwards and just ask her some questions. Yeah, a lot of these symptoms you're talking about with the pain and the ligament softness and the problem with blood pressure and heart rate, these are all symptoms that relate to the adrenal gland and the adrenal system. So obviously there's some kind of underlying mechanism causing an aggravation of that stress system, and that's causing these manifestations of pain and and problems. So if we get down to the real reason why, identify that and correct that, you'll be able to see this resolve without having all the repercussions of medications. You know, it's one of those things that can show up with oh, my God, I'm disabled, I can't function, I can't do this anymore. But the problem is that the medical allopathic fix sometimes, and not sometimes, but very often continues to cause the patient to break down. But, again, we've we've treated many of these patients. It's worth a conversation. It's worth bringing her in. Sarah, I really appreciate your phone call because it's it's really pretty much very on topic. Uh, Dr. Miller, we've got, you know, we'll get back into the the, uh, the meat of this uh uh, presentation, but you know, let's let's take this POTS patient apart a little bit. You know, it is an adrenal system problem. It goes and it fluxes. It goes into hyperadrenic pattern to hypoadrenic pattern. It goes back and forth. Uh, a lot of these, the the ligament integrity is very lax. It doesn't hold. Patients who uh, you know try to work out or they try to do more, the fight flight system, which we call the citric acid cycle or the Krebs pattern of, of that. That's where the oxygen exchange goes in the body. So they, they can't get rid of their CO2. So the body begins to go into this this wall that they hit. And, you know, life as they know it continues to get progressively worse over time. So it's it's uh, 
it's fixable. It's doable. But you, you got to look at it for the right thing. You can't suppress it with steroids. You can't fix the underlying problem by just taking care of the, the symptom process. We're coming up to a break. We're talking about stress and tis the season, as we said. And we're going to talk about what that means to you, how you fix it. This Wednesday evening, Dr. Bryce Miller will be your host, your presenter at the Result Center for Healing. Don't go away. Welcome back, everybody. Dr. Tom Rosell here. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rosell live in studio, waiting to take your phone calls on anything you'd like to know about about your health. 888-630-9625. That's 888-630-9625. In studio, Dr. Bryce Miller, your host, your presenter this Wednesday evening, December the 14th at the Rosell Center for Healing in Fairfax. By the way, where we're located is in the Red Cross building, right off the National Capital Beltway. What a perfect time to come and listen to this topic. What is it? Stress. Stress, your health and inflammatory reactions. You know, as I said earlier, I started the program, I said, tis the season, right? So, you know, when we're constantly under stress, and we talked about three types of stress, structural, chemical, emotional stress, these are the things that are all about us, right? You guys are eating like garbage right now. You know, you catch as catch can, you're out shopping, you're putting stuff in your body that you normally wouldn't put in. You know, you're limping along, you're hurting, snow's coming, by the way, ho, ho, ho. You're going to have to dig yourself out, take a look at what the map looks like up north, but it's going to come down here too. And, you know, then the emotional stress of everything that's going on. The beltway is full, you know, your, uh, your emotional levels are over the top. Some of you are missing home and can't figure out how you can get it together here. It's a stress pattern. Dr. Bryce, let's talk a little bit more about, you know, how that happens. I want to segue in. We've got a short segment. But let's talk about the, the, uh, the biochemical pieces, the immune system, and why it's, you know, it's breaking down right now more so from these stressors, as we talked about, structural, chemical, emotional. Yeah, there's a lot of different pieces when it comes to the immune system. That's one of the most important times right now to be having the best immune system you can have to get through the holidays. It's colder outside. All these things are happening that want to fight against you. But a lot of things that you can control yourself. Now, the first thing we have to talk about is when you're stressing out mentally, emotionally, you're going to get an elevation in what's called cortisol. Cortisol is your stress hormone. Now, what that's designed to do is to, you know, balance blood sugar, raise heart rate, things like that to help you adapt to that fight or flight situation. But the other piece, it also suppresses your immune system. So when your adrenal system, your stress system is healthy and you're in high stress mode, you actually will suppress your immune system and are more likely to get sick. Now, what tends to happen is over time, as you use the stress system more and more, that cortisol production will drop. And then what happens is actually you get the opposite, which you think, well, a really active immune system has got to be better. Well, actually, autoimmune disease is a pretty nasty thing. So you don't want to have too much or too little. It's always about balance. And the second piece, with the digestive tract, 60 to 70% of your immune system is in your intestinal tract. So if you're eating things that are causing inflammation, damage, that's going to really throw off how well you can fight off these colds and flus. You know, the, the thing that we don't realize is why we get sick right now. And, you know, think about all the stuff that's around you, all the things that you're doing. Remember that the viruses, the bacteria, all the things that we become susceptible to are there year-round. But because of the things that we're talking about, you become more susceptible to these things, and then the terrain, you, your body, doesn't have the capacity to deal with it. So, you know, uh, we just talked about the inflammatory cascade that takes place uh, because of too much immunological response. You know, we just had a patient the other day in, that I celebrated, Dr. Bryce. Uh, she came in and she had very advanced Sjogren's. Uh, just her inflammatory marker, her ESR, which is a, an indirect measurement of inflammation in the body, when she came in was in the hundreds. Wow. In the hundreds. And the other day she just had her, and following all the things that we're talking about, and the reason I'm talking, because it was a multidimensional stress pattern from a lot of things, she just did her blood work the other day, and her ESR now from hundreds is at 14. It's like, oh my gosh. And everything was negative. She had a slight positive tighter one area, but after six months of following the track and getting her life together and doing the things she needs to do and getting treated, Ultimately, she has turned everything around, and I was so excited. I was over-the-top happy about this whole situation. This is what we're talking about. We're talking about stress patterns that show up uh, more so this time of the year, and now we get sick. The inflammatory reactions are over-the-top. Um, 
let's talk about a little bit more about the immunological reactions because we see patients, you know, and I tell them one teaspoon of sugar, one, decreases the white blood cell activity, the ability for it to work by 12% for eight hours. It puts it to sleep. It puts it, makes it dormant. And so when we're shoveling all this stuff down our body, everything else goes through the ceiling. So let's talk a little bit about the, you know, we got about a minute and a half before we have to uh, break, but let's talk a little bit about that, uh, the the sugar, the the inflammatory cascade that takes place because of people shoving things into their mouth the way they shouldn't. Yeah, there's a big problem. The most most important thing I see people dealing with is, is their dietary choices. That's one of the major, major stressors on the body. Um, when you are stressing out about whatever it may be, structural problems you don't even know are happening, the emotions of the holidays, your acid that you use to digest in your stomach, it drops. Your pancreatic enzymes, they drop. Your saliva, your motility or movement of your intestinal system all drops because your body's not trying to rest and digest. It's trying to fight or flee something that's trying to harm you. So this whole process causes lots of irritation to the intestinal tract because you're not breaking your food down appropriately. You're not absorbing your minerals or your vegetables. And these things are just causing lots of damage to the intestinal tract, whether it even is healthy food. Sometimes that healthy food can cause a problem. So the key here is going to be to make sure that you can manage that stress in an appropriate way and identify what's really causing it. You know, by the way, when it comes to foods that are good for you, if you're eating the same thing all the time, repetitively, you don't give your diet a break, your body recognizes those things sooner or later as something that's harmful and it reacts accordingly. We're coming up to a break. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rizal Live. My guest in studio, Dr. Bryce Miller, your host this Wednesday evening at the Rizal Center for Healing. Don't go away. Dr. Tom Rosell Live continues now on 105.9 FM and AM 630 WMAL. Welcome back, everybody. Dr. Tom Rosell here. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rosell Live. Indeed, I'm in studio. Call 888-630-9625. That's 888-630-9625. Love to talk to you on anything that you'd like to bring up relative to your health. But remember, it's from a natural platform. We don't do drugs and surgery here. We try to get you to avoid those things as much as humanly possible. We're talking about stress and inflammatory reactions and pain patterns and, you know, why they're so prevalent this time of the year. And, but more importantly, what you can do about it in studio. My guest today, your host this Wednesday evening, the 14th at the Rizal Center for Healing, Dr. Bryce Miller. And he's going to be talking specifically on this topic at 7 p.m. Wednesday. By the way, if you want to attend that program, all you have to do is call 703-698-7117. That's 703-698-7117. Tell the staff at the Rizal Center for Healing that you'd like to be there and they'll reserve your seat. Remember, these are a gift to you, particularly, you know, a topic like this is one that affects so many people. And think about all the medications you're on, but also think about why you feel so crappy right now, you know, because of all the things that you've got your fingers in. You ever wonder why this time of year is so bad? Well, that's part of it. And we're going to try to open that up a little bit and give you a little bit more of insight today. But importantly, show up. You're a BI guest. Come and, you know, meet Dr. Miller. And I promise you, you'll find solutions that you never thought about before. I want to steal just 30 seconds and let you know that this afternoon, about 4 o'clock, 4 to 7 actually, I'm going to be at the Angelica, uh, in front of the Angelica Film Center at the Mosaic uh, Town Center there in Merrifield, and it's a children's, Christmas children's event, and we're going to be there with Caring for Others. Caring for Others is a Virginia-based 501c3 foundation, and we're going to be there to help kids who have nothing this time of the year. So this is all about kids. Caring for Others is there because of the kids that they support and for shelters that uh, they will be visiting within the next couple weeks. So come and join us. Help us out a little bit. We'll have some uh, gifts for you as well. Remember, it's Caring for Others. I'll be there. Uh, Sue Roselle will be there. Dareth Painter will be there. So we'll be there to serve you and to answer questions about Caring for Others. So come on down, say hello, shake our hands, and say hey. Let's go to the phones. Mike, thank you for being very patient and holding on. How can we help you, sir? Oh, hi. How you doing? Do, uh, doing great. Interesting program. Um, uh, uh, you talk about stress. I, I've got it all. But uh, probably about 18 years ago, I got uh, contracted Lyme disease. And that was kind of a period that no doctor knew what was what. And uh, I went on a plan of amoxicillin, three big pills every day for about a year and a half. Um which I know tore up my insides, uh, but 
from that, I ended up with, you know, I was in the hospital several times for diverticulitis. Right, that'll do uh, it. And, and uh, you know, uh, Graves' disease. <laughs> yep. I, mean, I used to be 170 to 70 pounds. When I when I got Lyme disease, I lost twenty pounds in the first week because of I couldn't eat. But now I'm like like now I'm like two seventy five. I can't seem to lose weight. I, it's not like I eat a box of donuts a day or anything like that. It's just over the last eighteen nineteen years, I just slowly put it on. I I can say that I haven't been as active as I would like to be. Mike, how old are you? I'm uh, sixty one. Okay, so let me talk about this just a little bit. You and I are I'm older than you are, but uh, you know not by a lot. And, uh, but here's the situation. You got your, your immune system wiped out. Anytime you go on a, any antimicrobial, it's going to destroy. As Dr. Miller was saying earlier, you know, 70%, actually 70% plus of your immune system is your, in your gut, in your intestinal system. And when we see things like a Hashimoto's thyroiditis or we see a Graves pattern, which are thyroid problems, it starts in the gut. And it has to do with the gut and the liver and fight flight system, the adrenal system and so forth. When those systems are beat up, because of long-term antibiotic therapy. And then if your diet even goes off lines a little bit, you start, uh, your metabolism is slowed down, your capacity to transport things don't work the way they're supposed to, and your body starts failing. But it, in a Graves pattern, we're talking about a autoimmune condition. And it's one that is going to affect your body fully. Now, obviously, you're getting older. That doesn't mean anything if you kept your health together, but, you know, Years ago, when they when they were dealing with limes, moxicillin, you know, was what they used. Today, uh, uh, different types of antibiotics, doxycyclines, and so forth, are, are the drugs of choice. But the problem is they don't work. And you know, particularly if you get somebody who's been exposed to a, a limes uh, bug within 72 hours, uh, and you get them on doxycycline, you have a shot at getting it done. But after that, just doesn't doesn't jump in, Dr. Miller. Uh, yeah, that limes is a pretty nasty beast. It doesn't, it doesn't like to get, you know, taken out very easily. But some of your things you're talking about have to do with, you know, that autoimmune response, that Graves disease, and then you talk about not being able to lose the weight. Obviously, part of that's probably because you're not as mobile as you want to be. But also, if you think about all these stresses you've had on your body, this infection, the antibiotic use, the diverticulitis, the subsequent problems with absorption, your cortisol levels are probably dropping down or fluctuating back and forth. And if that cortisol gets too low because your stress system is tired, you can't break down the fat as easily as you used to be able to do. Cortisol is a byproduct of adrenal function. And the first thing you see with cortisol under stress, Mike, is it goes through the ceiling. It spikes. And then if it's maintained long enough, then it crashes. The problem is is that it's all tied in to many different systems in the body. There's this thing called HPA axis. I'm not going to get into it. Just understand it has to do with the adrenal system's effect on brain function, the pituitary uh, and this little orchestrator in there that's called the hypothalamus, but the pituitary is what releases thyroid stimulating hormone. But now with everything you've gone through, your inflammation is high. So it's like painting the walls, you know, with uh, a very, very heavy lead based, uh, uh, paint and nothing can penetrate it. You can't get a signal through it anymore. That's what's happening with your body. The good news is it's reversible. Things can, can be made a difference. If you're, you know, in the area, I know you're out in Leesburg, but this would be a program that Dr. Miller could really get into some intimacies with you because it's going to fit you like a hand in glove. Uh, it, it takes it through the process of what happens when the body has been stressed for a long period of time, the inflammatory cascade that goes up through the ceiling because of too much cortisol, and then the immune system getting uh, busted up, and then pretty soon you end up with things like you have your hormones go down, you know, your testosterone goes out the window, you can't transport blood sugar anymore, you put on weight that you can't get off anymore. Yeah. All of those things are part of the picture, as you know. And the doctor tell me my testosterone was... As low as he's ever seen. Yeah, that, I mean that's that's part of the puzzle, and you don't have to live that way, Mike. There's a lot of things that can be done, and a step by step procedure to be able to you know turn this around. But your gut, as Dr. Miller was saying earlier, is one of the primary things that has to be looked at because it's beat up. You have you have uh, all kinds of absorption patterns in the intestinal system, and if that that system can't work anymore, ain't nothing working. So you know, love to talk to you, Mike. Um, you know, give us a call. 
uh, join uh, the class this Wednesday evening. All you have got to do is call the office at 703-698-7117. Dr. Miller will, will talk to you and, you know, he'll present the class and then he'll hang out as long as he needs to do, you know, to talk to you about whatever. But it's, it's an opportunity for you to see some, and by the way, at uh, 61, you're a young guy in today's world. You really are. You can still turn this stuff around. We see it with patients all the time. I want to get into, uh, there was a gentleman that called, doesn't want to get on the phone, but gave us uh, some information. And uh, by the way, the number here is 888-630-9625. I would love to talk to any of you today. Um, talking about his uh, sons going into fight-flight issues. Fight-flight reactions, Dr. Miller, are pretty much into what we're talking about, stress patterns. And let's talk about that fight flight. It goes back to, you know, the original studies with Pottinger and guys like that, but it has a very specific impact on the body and it fits exactly with what you're talking about in this class. Yeah, the fight flight mechanism is designed, you know, to help us survive in, in situations where we're in danger. But the problem is today we get stuck into it constantly. We wake up, worry about work, we're stuck in traffic, hard day at work, come home, deal with all these things we have to deal with, and our body's never getting out of this fight or flight mechanism. What happens, again, when you have stress, this fight or flight response causes your cortisol to rise. That's going to cause elevation in blood pressure, elevation in blood sugar. It's going to cause problems with how well you can think over time. It damages parts of the brain that relate to memory. So this heart rate, heart racing can happen. You can get palpitations. You can get issues with digestive function like we talked about. So pretty much it works against anything that's trying to heal or ma- metabolize or, or manage the body because it's just trying to focus all of your energy to being able to run or get away from any kind of a danger. And that's not a place you want to be stuck in and living in that state. You know, the thing of it is, is that we're talking about the body and its normal reactions, but sometimes normal reactions go bizarre. They break down. They don't work. They don't know how to stop. They get into a loop that feeds on itself. And a lot of it's perpetuated because of the stressors that we're talking about, the the structural, chemical, emotional stressors, if you will. And we have to make sure that we understand that mechanism. So when we look at a condition, we look at it from, has there ever been an injury to the body or is the body being injured because it's no longer in a good condition? You know, are there, in, in chiropractic, we call it subluxation patterns that occur to the spine. In osteopathic medicine, they call it spinal lesions. But what that really means is that the neurological signal is not triggering the responses internally and externally the way it's supposed to. Are the emotional patterns uh, able to be handled? Do we get into the spin, this negative loop, if you will? And, you know, we know that the body holds on to emotion pretty soon that you get the same button pushed every time, every time, every time. And then pretty soon, you know, you can't help yourself. You just get into the loop. It's got to be broken. You know, the biochemical pieces, what's your habit? Do you catch as catch can? Do you just grab something and, you know, you wonder why you're sick all the time? Not okay. It's not one of those things that, but it can be altered and it can be altered as long as you understand the mechanisms of exposure and what the stressors are actually doing to the body and not just take this pill and call me in the morning. Right. Our whole, our whole point of the program is going to be just to show you guys, make you aware of, and then be able to identify what is causing your dysfunction. Your symptoms are just a side effect. We're going to look through and give you information so you can see, well, where am I having my stress coming from and how can I eliminate that? Because whatever you're in control of and you can remove, that will make you more able to handle things that are out of your control. And that will make your body respond. It'll start to heal itself. Because, again, ageless health, like we always talk about, is never too old to repair the body. You have to supply it with what it needs and take away things that are hindering your own health. You know, it's an, it's an, an amazing mechanism, this human body of ours. And, you know, I've spent these decades, you know, treating thousands and thousands of patients literally all over the world. And it really comes down to nothing more than that. It comes down to structural integrity, biochemical integrity, emotional balance. And when we don't have those things, the other systems begin to be affected. The nervous system, the chemistry of our body, blood supply, so forth. All of those things uh, are stressed, if you will, to use that term. And then the ramifications are that. So this Wednesday evening, be our guest. It's December 14th. You're out and about anyway. You're going to shop me. Take an hour out of your time and come to the office. It starts at 7 o'clock and Dr. Bryce Miller will be your presenter and he's going to talk about this stuff intimately, but more importantly to show you what you can do and he'll do one-on-ones, uh, and answer your questions, you know, throughout the, the, the course of the evening. So join us. All you got to do is call 703-698-7117. And remember, these classes are for you. They're our gift to the community. That's why we do them. We call them 
our in-house continuing education programs because we want you to be educated. You know, back in 2017, we're going to get out. We're going to try to get around the Beltway in many different areas, and we're going to try to do a lot of these in communities where uh you know, you folks are, and, and sometimes it's difficult for you to get to us. But this is one. It is the season. You're under all these these chemical insults, these, these structural insults, these emotional insults. Learn what you can do about it and why you have the pain, why you have the upset, why you have the depression, why you don't feel good, why everything is happening. There is a why is that. Don't ignore it. Join Dr. Miller this Wednesday evening. Frank, thank you for calling. How can we help you, sir? Yes, hi, Dr. Rodell. <coughs> Uh, you had a caller on just recently that uh, said he had Lyme disease. Yes. And you talked about cortisol and all. Well, my wife also has Lyme, but she she uh, had uh, biadrenalectomy uh, several years ago, so she does not have her adrenals. Not a good thing. Go ahead. You know, and so she is taking um, cortisol. cortisol. Yes, daily. She has to. Yeah, so she doesn't yeah. live. Yes, and what's happened recently, within the last two years, she's gained this enormous amount of weight, but mostly in her in her, in her gut, in her abdomen. Uh, it's mostly fluid. Could that be um, That's... your body trying to fight the... Uh... You know, the parasites and all? No, it's a combination of things. The fact that she's had an adrenalectomy uh, indicates, you know, that there were other patterns that, uh, you know, without getting into real deep uh, medical history, uh, yeah. there's other things that predispose that. And, you know, for whatever reason, I can't even make a judgment call on, on what's going on right now without knowing much, much more. But here's the situation that that weight, that, uh, that water weight is usually cortisol weight. Uh, cortisone going to convert ultimately producing cortisol, which is one of the things that the body has to have to survive. But if it's not working the way it's supposed to, or the cortisol finally drops, the body holds on to the weight. And one of the primary areas is that belly fat that's loose. It's not the hard belly fat, but it's a loose, watery, jiggly type of belly fat. You can see it in the thighs. Uh, you yeah. know, you can see it in the butt. You can see it in the belly and so forth. And that's, that's where it's at. So even though she has, uh, you know, a bilateral adrenalectomy, there's much that can be done because there are other systems that also produce hormones. The body has multiple fail-safes in it. So you have to look at all the things that led up to. That's why history is so, so critical. You have to look at exposures. You have to look at medications. You look at traumas over a period of time. And then you begin to fix it. The gut, the liver, uh, you know, the detoxification pathways of the body, all these things are critical. But, Frank, yes, absolutely. Listen, come on down and, and talk to us. Uh, happy to give you more insight. Uh, it's something that actually can be made different, and it takes time, but it takes your wife's involvement as well. We're coming up to a break. My guest in studio, Dr. Bryce Miller, your host this Wednesday evening, the 14th of December at the Results Center for Healing. is going to be talking about pain, inflammation, and stress. Don't go away. We'll be right back. 105.9 FM and AM 630 WMAL. Welcome to Dr. Tom Rosal Live, and thank you for listening as you do every Sunday at 12 noon, right on the eastern seaboard, where you've got us dialed in right now. And those of you on the west coast, you know the math. Three hours there and mid-country and so forth. Those of you who are listening, all the emails that we get. And by the way, we do answer the emails, so feel free. All you have to do is go to rosellecare.com. That's R-O-S-E-L-L-E-C-A-R-E.com, and we will get back to you. If you need somebody to talk to you immediately and you'd like a question answered, the doctors at the Rosell Center for Healing will get on the phone with you. All you need to do is call the same number that you're going to call to register for Dr. Bryce Miller's presentation, 703-698-7117, and tell the staff that you don't want to talk to somebody or that, in fact, that you want to register, and hopefully you will, this Wednesday evening, the 14th of December, and you want to be there for the stress, inflammatory, your health and pain pattern presentation. Guess what? You will go away with a whole bunch of information. I promise you, you're going to learn to deal with things very, very differently. And it's important because you are the master of your own ship. And by the way, remember my book, Ageless Health. Health is a do-it-yourself program. If you don't own it, what a beautiful time and what a great opportunity for a gift. You know, go online, you go to results. Uh, care.com and you can purchase it right there off the website and they'll get it out to you before the holidays so do it today make sure that uh, you know you're informed and stay informed we do this program for you specifically for that you know what I tell everybody all the time is simply this we're here to give you and provide information 
I don't want you to believe me or anybody else. I want you to do your homework. I want to provoke you. I want you to get interested. I want you to be able to be the provocateur, if you will, in your own life. Because that's why we do what we do. And that's why I continue to do what I do. I want to remind you very quickly, is uh, at 4 o'clock this afternoon, 4 to 7, I'm going to be at the Mosaic at the Maryfield Town Center. And we'll be right in front of the Angelica Theater. And it's a whole three hours for kids. It's all the vendors are there and so forth. Come on by, bring your kids, bring your families, come by and say hello. I'm going to be there. Uh, Dareth Painter will be there. Sue Rosell will be there. And we're going to be there to support Caring for Others and the Four Shelter Christmas event that uh, Caring for Others does every year. So come on by, shake our hands, say hey, you know, and introduce yourself. And if you have any questions, we're happy Happy, happy to uh, to answer them. We'll just you know hang out and you know is it going to be cold? Yeah, probably. But guess what? There's some really great food around that area too, so you can get good organic natural foods. That'll be amazing. Dr. Miller, wrap it up for us. Tell us exactly why this program is important and you know who should attend. Well, I think it's pretty obvious that stress is universal, so this is for everyone, no matter what your age, no matter what you do. But what I want to accomplish on Wednesday is just, again, to basically give you the information you need so you can understand what's happening to yourself. Go through the structural, chemical, and emotional stressors that are happening, and then go through what happens to your body when it does not function appropriately due to these stressors. And then one of the most important pieces, obviously, is give you information about what you can do for yourself or those you care about to get them back on track so that they can feel and act and live the way they're supposed to feel and act and live. You know, it's important. You know, stress is one of those things that we talk about. We give lip service to. We say stress kills. Well, the truth of it is, is that's accurate statement. And it's one that, you know, when you're under prolonged stresses over a period of time, and we said structural, chemical, emotional stressors, they affect the body. They affect the, the, the balance of the system. Uh, they affect, you know, the fuel that goes into You can have, you know, the greatest car in the world and just have it tuned up and the engine repaired. And if you put... Uh, uh, junk gas and, and oil into it and lube, guess what? You're not going to go too far. You're going to break down. You know, when you're under that emotional stress and you look at negativity, it produces immunological responses in your body that are destructive, that will destroy you, that will kill you. Learn how to fix this stuff. You don't have to live this way. You know, patients come in and say, you know, where do you get the energy to do what you do? I said, because I ask myself a question all the time. Are my action steps that I'm doing taking me closer to or further away from my outcome and the things that I want to achieve in my life? By the way, the things I want to do for you, the things I want to make happen in your life, because it's important that I lead by example and I want you to say, hey, you know, I can do that. I can make a difference. Is it perfect? No. Is it an ongoing journey towards perfection? Absolutely, if you care about yourself. This Wednesday evening, the 14th of the month, 7 p.m., Roselle Center for Healing. Dr. Bryce Miller, your host, your presenter, join us. Remember, we love you all. Bye. Do you know a lot about beer? Well, it's time for Sam Adams' Know Your Beer. Not all hops taste the same. American hops. They're piney, citrusy, like a lumberjack chopping grapefruit. German hops. They're floral and spicy, a beautiful bouquet with thorns. English hops. Earthy and delicate, a beer lover's cup of tea. Whatever hops you like, from Rebel IPA to Boston Lager, Sam Adams is crafting a brew for you. Boston Beer Company, Boston Mass. Safe responsibly. This is Dr. Tom Roselle, author of Ageless Health. Health is a do-it-yourself program. My book, now also available in audio version, is a step-by-step program of how to take control of your health and wellness without drugs or needless surgery. You have the capacity to change your health and level of well-being. Take control of your health today and order Health Is a Do-It-Yourself Program. For more information and to order, please visit agelesshealthbook.com. That's agelesshealthbook.com. Are you dental phobic? Do you neglect your dental health because of fear and anxiety? A beautiful smile begins with exceptional dental care, and you can trust in the expertise of Soft Touch Dental Care and Dr. Michael Chung. Soft Touch Dental Care is unlike any dentist office you'll ever experience. Their warm and welcoming environment is designed to soothe fears and anxiety the moment you arrive, and they're especially pleased to pamper their honored guest patients. Dr. Michael Chung is a professional and leading expert in all areas of comprehensive dentistry, including cosmetic, sedation, neuromuscular, TMJ, and implant dentistry. 
Offering state-of-the-art technology, Dr. Chung can give you the smile of your dreams. Arrange for a complimentary consultation today with Dr. Michael Chung and experience the expertise that makes Dr. Michael Chung so unique. Call 703-319-6990. That's 703-319-6990. Or visit bestinsmile.com. That's bestinsmile.com. Thank you. 